123 for one was the score when we left. No addition to the score. Crooks to Inzama Mulhak. Down the track. And a big, big hit. That's gone for maximum. Well, that's confidence. That's out. That's beautifully bowled by Crooks. Wide signal. But the third empire has been called for. And Imran Nazir, if he's short of his ground, will have to leave the ground. Yes, that looked out to me. It was very smart work by the keeper. A pre-planned stroke by Imran and here nicely deceived by Crooks, bowling down the leg side and that's out. So a good comeback by South Africa here. They picked up two wickets in a hurry. Both the openers now back in the pavilion and Imran Nazir, the last man to be dismissed after a superb innings. Pakistan 134 for two. The big man in Zamam ul is out there in the centre now. Pakistan have just lost their second wicket, that of Imran Nazir. At the halfway stage, 138 for two Pakistan. And now there once again, Kluzner getting the reverse swing Imran Khan was talking about a little while earlier. That's why it's harder for a new player to straight away come in and get going. Wide of the crease and you see the ball drifting in, now that's reverse swing. Once again wrapped on the pass, this time the finger goes up. South Africa are right back into this game. Klusner has picked up another wicket. 139 for three. Well, the reverse swing we were talking about. See the angle of the ball, it hits him within line. And actually a very good decision. Took a long time to make a decision, but a correct one. 139 for three. I just wonder if all those uh, supporters that come from Australia decide to dress in green, they have the whole stadium in green. It certainly will make a different spectacle. And some of the wires from the South African camp. Oh, good shot. Over the top and for four. Right, well, perhaps uh, Yusuf Johanna has decided that he's got to lift the pace a little bit. Very good shot. Yes, he loves him there. He's very good on the offside, especially through the cover region. That's his area. And he's appreciating a little bit of extra pace. This will be a test for Nanti Haywood. He's pacey, but he's just coming on nicely. He's going to have to mix up the pace. It was a stand and deliver just about there for uh, Yusuf Johanna. He loves him there. Oh, he's nearly killed him. He's nearly killed him. He hit that one back at him like a rocket. Have a look at that. Even he's like, what's going on, son? That missed me by an inch. Oh, that's beautifully hit into the gap. Terrific batting there from Yusuf Johanna. Pakistan, 184 for three. Well, he's now scored more runs in Sharjah than any other player, and that was a beautifully timed shot to bring up the 200. Zin Zamam has a lot of power and versatility well, that's a great shot hit with such power we saw that uh, drive he played uh, almost killed Hayward and he hits the ball extremely hard Pakistan 204 for three gone Yusuf Yohana very disappointed with his departure there 
just clipping that ball uh, straight to the South African captain. Well, that's his strength as well as his weakness, uh, playing on the onside. But a very good knock by Johanna. Well, Callis took a bit of uh, hammer early on, so he'll be delighted to pick up a victim and uh, picked it up pretty easily there. Hansi Kronier taking a straightforward catch. It's 2.04 for four. And uh, Moen Khan is the new player. He's had a bit of trouble getting off the mark uh, so far in this series. Generally, makes a lot of runs when they're needed for Pakistan. This time, quickly off the mark. He's been given out. Mohan Khan having a bit of a horror stretch with the bat here in Sharjah. He's out in the 43rd over. Well, that was a very late swinging, reverse swinging, in swinging Yorker. And early on, I'm afraid any batsman would have struggled against that. You just watch, there's a late swing there now. Just there now, that's what really got Moin. Uh, actually hit him under the shoe um, was it uh, inside the line uh, i guess it was a very close decision 209 for five yes good cross section of um of the young and the old watching full toss and desperate effort by crooks that's four though that one slightly over pitched by Hansi Kronier. Razak waiting for it. Smashed it away. Yes, that full toss was at a nice height for Abdus Razak to put it away. Kronier was attempting the Yorker. He's powered it away on the onside here. He's beaten that man at mid-wicket. Useful boundary here for Pakistan. Again, over pitched rather than under pitching. Again, a single. Four overs to go. Oh, it's hitting high and wide. Will it go all the way? Yes, one bounce for four. Well played. They're taking advantage of the loose balls. He's a good young cricketer. Boys hit that one too, into the gap on the onside. Abdur Razak is playing a little gem of a knock. Just when it matters, he's turning it on. He got underneath that one. It was an attempt at a slower ball. He picked it well. He needs to plug that gap, Hansi Kronier. Because Abdur Razak is taking toll here. Once again, he gets the room because that front foot is cleared away. Full toss, he's got it away for four, another full toss, Enzimam, that takes him on to 45. Yes, that's not good bowling from Sean Pollock. With the kind of field set for Enzimam, this is meat and drink for him. Yes, that's the problem. You, um, you're brought into the attack for just two overs. That's his half century. That's well played. Very well played. He's in good form. Yes, yeah, a very good half century. Once again, he's paced his innings nicely. He took his time earlier on. He didn't panic when wickets were falling around him. Sean Pollock, full toss, hit down the ground. Boye comes around, just one. Over to you, Inzi. They want fours, they want sixes. Yes, they would like to take the score to around the 270 run mark. They'll need a couple of big hits here. Razak was attempting just that. Didn't quite get the placement right. 
Yes, it'll be a slower ball or it'll be right up there. Oh, well bowled. Beautifully bowled by Pollock. He's rolled him over. So, having had a little altercation with him last over, he's managed to get one through his defences. But once again, a useful contribution by Inzamam. Yeah, it's good innings by him, but a perfect yorker from Sean Pollock. Inzamam was looking to just chip it down on the onside. But right up in the block hole. That's good bowling at the death by Sean Pollock. Good innings by Inzamam coming to an end. The Empire is still having a chat with Pollock. It's 2.56 for six. Wazzy Macram on strike. He's hit that one in the air, way down towards mid-wicket, bouncing away towards the fence. Will it get there? Yes, four. Yes, four. Desperate lunge down on the boundary rope, but it's gone for four. Righto, what can our dull Razak do? Last ball of the Pakistan innings. Straight down the ground. Wazim will come back for the second. Well, that's the end of uh, a very good effort by Pakistan. South Africa will have to bat pretty well to get there. However, the pitch is good, the outfield's fast. I think we've got a good match on our hands. Yes, I think you're right, Tony. Those are two very important points you made. It's a good pitch, and the outfield is quicker than it has ever been in the tournament. But having said that, 263, Pakistan will settle for that after they won the toss and decided to bat. Hansi Kronia, he'll be a, just a little worried, but what a start for Pakistan. Imran Nazir, 69, Shahid Afridi, 52, Yunus Khan, he was out early here today, but then Inzamam once again held the innings together. Good innings by him, 53 of 82. So the uh, bowling figures here, one for 54 to Pollock, Hayward, no wicket for 52, Callas, two for 57, and uh, look down there at Klusner, two for 27 of 10, uh, a wicket there for Crooks as well. So uh, South Africa need 264 runs to win, and uh, they've got to score those runs at 5.28 runs and over. So, uh, well, it's a pretty useful performance. In terms of the partnerships, Right at the top of the innings, Nazir Afridi, 123. Inzaman and Johanna putting on 65. And also Inzaman and Razak, 